in case you can't read this uh, it's an acrylic sign that I had made up some years ago and it's been hanging on the wall of my filter house since around oh when I just when I finally did the alterations to the filter house so it's been there since uh, 2013 or thereabouts um, it's a story of how Japanese filter mat actually came into the UK um, I'll read it out to you in case you can't see it all but um, in 1984 I imported the original blue-green filter mat sheets into the UK from Japan after first seeing it used uh, during 1983 by Toshio Sakai in Isawa as a filter media for koi ponds. It was produced in Japan as a medium for road drainage under the top surface before the roads were finished. Toshio Sakai saw the material and carried out some experiments with it that proved to be extremely successful when used in cartridge form. However, it was Toshio's idea to tailor this into cartridge form in order to allow pond water to pass through its channels formed unhindered by any restrictions thus producing enormous surfaces for bacteria to form as the water passes through these channels. I started to promote this material in tailored cartridge form in early to middle 1985 in the UK in order to use it for koi pond applications. On first arrival to the UK there was no name for the material so I christened it Japanese filter mat later to be given a derogatory term which I uh, absolutely detest um, in later years after meeting with huge success it was taken in at other parts of the world as a perfect surface for biological filtration in koi ponds. In 1986, after tailoring many filter mat cartridges to order, I realized it could be placed on its side uh, and the horizontal flow of water could could be taken through it. So I put this to the test with um, filters I had made at the time and it actually worked superbly. Um, this was the first 
horizontal flow filter system ever invented. And um, I, I, what what fascinated me about it, um, apart from the stupid name I gave it as a budget filter, because no one really wants to own a budget anything. But um, <coughs> as the years go on in anything like this, improvements can be made. Now, the original filter mat sheets, as I've said before, came in uh, two meter by one meter and the thickness was 38 milli. Now, this did not allow me to get many sheets into my horizontal flow filters. So, I had several meetings with the manufacturers in, in the UK, although the real material is, is uh, still made in China now. But um, the company I use is called um, NKEV and uh, I've been working with them since the, I don't know, around about um, 2009 or something like that. Uh, I had a meeting with them uh, early 2009 and mentioned that the sheets as supplied were far too thick because I needed more sheets to go into a cartridge block that was only 18 inches wide. So on a video conversation to their head office in Holland it turned out that the MD there had heard of me and um, he asked what I really needed. I said, well, I need, uh, but if you, if you cut it thinner, it will lose its strength, won't it? He said, yes, it will. I said, so I don't want that to happen. I want it to, uh, stay firm in the water forever and ever and ever. He said, well, that means we would have to crush the sheets. So, um, I said, well, would this give more surface? He said, I think it would. He said, but you'll have to try it. So, I tried it at 15 mil thickness, which is half the thickness it was really uh, uh, manufactured at. And then later on, um, I asked if it could be done in a 10 milli thickness, which was really, really thin. But trying that for the first time, if you look at the third picture along the top with the reflections of the UV sterilizer in it. Um, <coughs> this seemed to work superbly and um, that was with my Eric filters. But since then I've moved on to my Epic filters, which is shown here. Now, believe it or not, on these large Epic filters, the cartridge blocks, there's 42 sheets of Epic mat used to make one cartridge. And there are only 
three milli spaces between each sheet. <coughs> now, water can easily get past three milli spaces, but it's very difficult for dirt to get past that. Um, so now I'm uh, concentrating purely on EPIC filters. These are the cartridge blocks I'm using in my systems. Had it not been for a chance sight of this original material at Toshio Sakai's place in, in those days long gone, <laughs> I think the UK koi keepers would still be using gravel as a media, which, um, well, I, I think this was a truly amazing event to happen in UK koi keeping circles. So thank you for watching.